What's up, everyone? I am here today with my better half, my lovely wife, Tran, for the gift that keeps on giving. And what is that? Yeezy Day. Yeezy Day. And what are we opening now? Uh, Yeezy 350 V2s in hyperspace. And why are we opening hyperspaces? Because I got one too. Because we both got a pair. I hope that these are them. I'm not entirely sure. You ready? Yep. Well, I got the packages right because your box is smaller than my box. Nothing interesting, right? No. You ready? Yep. It should just slide out. You should just be able to... Yes. You don't need to pull, it should just slide. You got it? Same time. Whoa. Whoa. These are way more minty than I thought they would be. I bet that the actual color is not gonna come through for the video quite right. But these are minty, minty fresh. Yes. What do you think? They're cute. Also way greener than I thought. I don't think there's a question in my mind that I like these a whole heck of a lot better than I like the 450s, at least from how they look right off the bat. What do you think? I agree. These are way more wearable. What did you think of the 450s? Kind of bananas. Did you like them or you didn't like them? Uh, I don't think I like them. What do you think of these? I like these. You do like these? Yes. I like these too. I think my favorite feature about these is this transparent stripe along the side, along with the kind of see-through holy structure. I don't know if that's the right word for that. Feels a little plasticky or foamy, but it kind of holds the shape in the toe box, as well as the lace loop. Oh, with a little bit of padding at the rear. So it is functional. I thought that was just part of the design, but it is functional. It's a very cool looking shoe. It's a very nice colorway. I like that the transparent midsole kind of blends the gum bottom with the minty fresh top kind of like a green beige hue. It's just a very clean, but also a little bit flashy with the stripe type of shoe. It's got a little bit of flair. What do you think? I like them. The only thing I don't like was, I wasn't expecting how green it was. I like more muted colors. I would have liked it a little bit less bright, but I know you like green. I mean, I like everything that's interesting. Variety is the spice of life. That's true. What size did you get? I got size five. What size are you? I'm usually a size four and a half, but I was told to go at least half a size up. All right, are we trying them on? So I'm normally an 11 and a half but I'm also normally a 45, and these are an 11 and a half or a 46, and everyone says size up, but I'm hoping that these are gonna work for me. I think these work for me. I think these work. Oh, I need to actually stand up in them though. Oh, oh, these are nice. All right, I'm not gonna lie. 
I think these are way more comfortable. There's a lot more cushion in these than in the 450s. And again, that's because I never had a pair of Yeezys before. I've never had a pair of 350s before. And so the 450s was all I knew at the time I made that video. But these... These are mad comfy. These are something else. That's very interesting. I've got way less space at the front where my toe is in these than I had in the 450s. And I kind of think I should have sized up on these even a little bit further. I should have gone, I probably should have gone to 12 on these. How's yours fit? My fits really well, actually. It's not that tight, but definitely my normal size was not a good plan. So I'm glad I sized up and listened to folks. So my problem is exactly what I don't like, which is that when my toe gets jammed up at the front, that's when I get annoyed and that's kind of what's happening here except the shoe is very forgiving so it's not like it's pinching it or anything I just I feel a little bit of pressure in it it's possible if I actually lace these tightly it'll hold my foot back towards the back of the shoe I think it's because the rear is actually pulling my foot forward hmm. All right, we're gonna have to get some on-feet shots because these shoes are fresh. I really, really dig how these look on feet. What do you think they look good? I think they look good. Is there anything important to say about this shoe? The Boost, the Boost foam is amazing. And that is missing, I believe, from the 450. So these are way, way, way more comfortable than the 450s were. The gum sole on the bottom I really like. The transition with the colors to the minty green top and the stripe. I just think this is a fantastically executed shoe. I honestly don't think I have any complaints on this. It's early. It's my first exposure to a 350. I might be a little too excited because of that, but I really like this. Oh, that's the other thing. So if this were Nike, this would be a GS size shoe. It would be a little bit cheaper and the quality would not be the same. So the thing about Adidas is they charged you just as much, didn't they? Yeah. But that should mean that the shoe is to the same level of quality. And I think it is. You're getting obviously a lot less materials, but everything about it looks the same. Would you agree? Very little feet compared to you. All right, any closing thoughts about this shoe? I want more Yeezy 350s now, because these are so ridiculously comfortable compared to my Jordan ones. Yeah, I agree. I think I'm late to this party, but now I get it. I'm still having a little bit of an issue with the front of this shoe, not necessarily holding its shape the same way, but actually there are some elements attached to the sock structure here that actually give it a little bit of structure if you pull it up. It's a much better looking shoe sitting still than the 450 was. I am a fan. I'm super excited that I've got another pair of Sesames to open because I really like these, although I think I probably should have sized another half size up past this. Definitely the half size to full size recommendation is more important in the 350s than the 450s because I believe the 450 and an 11 and a half would have worked just fine for me. I think that's it. So I heard that these were actually made just for Asia and I think South Africa. 
So it's kind of cool that Yeezy Day dropped these, that dropped this colorway so that we can actually get them in the US. That's right. So we actually did not appreciate at all just how hard the hyperspaces were to get the first time around. We did know that this was a re-release, but we did not realize when we bought them that the original release was location locked to Asia and just dumb luck that we were able to snag these. Easy day was awesome. These are probably gonna end up being my favorite even though I didn't open the sesame yet. And we're partial to the name Hyperspace because why? It's the name of our favorite arcade in our local town. We have been going to the Hyperspace Arcade in downtown Los Altos religiously ever since we found out about it. We are playing two games, the Avengers card collecting game. It's like a Vegas casino. It is mad addicting and... Down the Clown. Down the Clown where we are throwing balls at clowns and we are absolutely destroying that game in front of the 10 year olds who look up to us like we are superheroes. Closing thoughts? All right, that's another video in the books. Thanks for watching and... I'll see you at the next one. <laughs>